everyone, I hope you're all doing great. Today I'm doing a design inspired by the fall and it is a bronzy golden base and then some filigrees and some pink flowers. And if you want to see how to get these nails done by yourself, then just keep on watching. Start off by applying a protective base coat and I'm using OPI's Nail Envy, which is a nail strengthener. Then apply the color that you want to have as the base for your entire nail and I'm going to use this gorgeous brown like a bronzy brown with golden shimmer in it and this is from last year's Christmas um, winter collection and this one has the name warm and fuzzy and I will apply two coats on all of my nails with this polish now I'm just gonna pick out my palette and I have put a dot of some black acrylic paint and I have this small brush defining brush and I'm just gonna make some different kind of shaped filigrees. So get some paint and then just start drawing them randomly. Now I'm gonna pick up my palette again and now here I have a dark like a magenta pink and a white and I'm gonna mix these two together to a lighter pink and I want a little bit more dark pink so I'm just gonna apply a little bit more of that dark and blend again so here I have the pink that I want and I'm gonna use the same brush, I just wiped it off, cleaned it off and I'm gonna take this pink and apply that a little bit of here and there as flower petals. And you can do as many flowers as you want, but I think that two will be fine for this nail. And the final detail, I'm having this dot here of a gold polish and it is this one from OPI and it has the name Bling Dynasty. And I'm going to apply this with a pretty small size dotting tool. So I'm just going to take my dotting tool and then just apply a dot in the center of that pink flower. Depending on how opaque the palette, this polish is, you might have to reapply like I'm doing right now. So this is the design and I'm just going to apply a top coat to seal in my design and to give it a beautiful shine. And I'm using Sechevite Dry Fast Top Coat and I will apply that and then I will be right back. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and there will be more to come even though I've been bad lately because I've had such bad inspiration. I haven't really had any inspiration and then it's hard, you know, and please leave me comments and feedback. And if you do have any requests, I am happy to, to receive your requests. So thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more and have a lovely day. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.